Welcome to Christian Warrior Training. We've got a critical update about the 30,000 Hezbollah agents that are in the United States, which we've talked about that before, and we'll explain it again about how they got here and what's going on with that. But we're going to talk about what that means with a war between Israel and Hezbollah right now, what that means for you, your church, your safety, and how you can better prepare for what's coming up. Now, look, if you love Jesus Christ, if you love protecting your church, you're in the right place. It's Christian Warrior Training. Hit like, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know what's up. Now, look, 85% of the people that follow this channel don't subscribe, meaning you come here and watch the videos, but you don't hit that subscribe button. Please hit it because it helps me and it helps the algorithm and it helps spread our message about church safety without turning your church into a bunker. We just teach you how to work a little bit harder to make sure you keep bad people away from your church. All right, so as I've explained before, we had a joint terrorism task force agent come on to the channel. His specialty was to investigate Hezbollah. Yeah. You look at cities like uh, Bell, California, and uh, Anaheim, mm -hmm. that have just been completely infiltrated. Uh, there are various government agencies, in some cases law enforcement, that have been infiltrated by them or their sympathizers. Now, we hid his identity because we don't want him to get burned from his superiors. And he explained about how Hezbollah comes across the border. He's watched Hezbollah come across the Mexican border. He's watched as they've generated money through illicit means in the United States and then pass that back to their handlers in Lebanon. And, you know, of course, the current administration, are they're doing nothing. In fact, past administrations, nobody's gotten rid of these guys, even though we know who they are. And so they're here in the United States. And Joint Terrorism Task Force officers have been telling us forever, ever since 2000, that if we go to war with Iran, that those Hezbollah agents are going to create havoc. They're going to be unleashed by their handlers in Iran and they're gonna cause chaos in America. Now, as you know, ISIS has told their followers to attack American churches and American synagogues, and that has happened already in the United States, and we have stopped two attacks from happening in the United States. So one has occurred, two were stopped before they could occur. So we know this stuff is happening. This Hez Hezbollah investigator told us that in his professional opinion, there were 30,000 Hezbollah agents in the United States. You can go take a look at that video, watch it. Fascinating. It's about 45 minutes long. You will learn a lot. I don't want to repeat too much about what's been going on between Israel and Hezbollah over the last couple of days, but I think it's important just to hit the highlights. Uh, starting yesterday, Israel had somehow intercepted about 3,000 pagers destined for Hezbollah because they don't use phones because we target those phones to drone them, do airstrikes, whatever. And so they had placed place some PETN explosives into those pagers. And when they were ready, they activated them. And when they alerted that there was a pager that it beeped, it was programmed to go off five seconds after it started beeping. So when it beeped, they held it up to look at it and then it detonated. So it took off hands, caused massive facial injuries. If it was still on their hip when it was going off, fractured pelvises and did some major things like that. That was all of Hezbollah's leadership. And so today, about 3,000 ICOM radios that Hezbollah used detonated today in the same manner and wounded 3,000 people and caused the same chaos. Now, interesting thing about those radios. Those radios were distributed only in the case of war against Israel. That means that those pagers went off. They issued those ICOM radios out because they're going to go to war with Israel, and then they detonated. You got to give it to God's children. They totally decimated Hezbollah. I'm sure the thousands of people that got injured today with those ICOM radios, I have no doubt that they were the next line of leaders taking the place of the people that were injured yesterday. So they just took out two levels, two levels of leadership in the span of two days. Now, also included in those devices that blew up included fingerprint readers, laptops, and some other items. I am hearing reports that some of those items detonated in England. So that shows you Hezbollah's reach. It also injured an ambassador to Lebanon from Iran. So Israel severely injured an Iranian ambassador. So I think my personal opinion, I think what is happening is that Israel is shaping the battlefield to go to war with Hezbollah. Shaping the battlefield just means that before you go into battle, you do a series of things like an artillery preparation or take out key leadership or something like that. So that way it makes it easier for your troops when you go to war. I think it's important 
Because as I warned repeatedly, that if America enters a war with Iran, those Hezbollah agents in the United States are going to be released to create havoc within our country. When things like this happen, we step closer to that happening. I'm not trying to fear monger. I don't want to scare anybody. I certainly don't want you to turn your church into a bunker by any stretch of the imagination. Keep your church open. Only in the case of an imminent attack against your people should you close the church down to protect the people within. But we're not at that point yet. We're at a high risk of attacks, but it's not imminent yet. It's very important that you follow what has been occurring so that if all of a sudden it looks like we're going to a war with Iran, that you take appropriate measures to bring people in to protect the church, to have an extra lookout, to uh, be safe. Because when those, when those people, when those 30,000 Hezbollah agents get released in the United States, they are going to create havoc. And part of that is going to be attacking churches. It's my belief. And that is the belief of Joint Terrorism Task Force agents that I've talked to that are retired and still currently working. And you cannot count on the FBI to warn you of any of this stuff because they have not warned churches of impending attacks, even though they were about to happen, as an example in Coeur d'Alene, Idaho. And then recently, a Pakistani national arrested in Canada that was going to attack synagogues in New York City on October 7th. In no time did they warn churches. I, my personal opinion, I've worked with FBI on multiple cases over my 30-year career as a police officer. And I've seen over that entire time that they are an absolute inept organization, incapable of doing any serious investigations. They are are not including churches in these warnings, even though they know something is about to happen. And we have to rely on ourselves to protect ourselves. The Bible also says that we're going to be persecuted for our beliefs and attacked and maybe die over our beliefs. Now, I'm prepared for that. Are you? Are you ready for that? Now, look, what can you do now? Right now, you can head over to ChristianWarriorTraining.com and take free training. This is not a gimmick. It is my gift to you as a fellow follower of Christ. I want to make sure that you are trained so you can protect your fellow Christians from the evil that exists out there. We know it's coming. The Bible says so. I want you to take those classes. When you take those classes, there's classes on identifying terrorism indicators, meaning what does it look like when terrorists come to look at your church as a possible attack in the future? Uh, how, to, how to spot danger, how to identify armed persons, stuff like that, and how to contact those people safely. You will find lots of training over there. It is all free. If you want to support what I'm doing and you want to support my ministry, you can do a subscription at ChristianWarriorTraining.com. And what that does is that helps me fund cameras, training, and all this other stuff that we bring to you to help you better protect your people. So look, I need you to monitor what's going on in Israel every day. Follow the news, watch what's going on, use a little bit of discernment to figure out when something bad is going to happen. And the most important thing is to make sure that your church remains open. Make sure it stays open so people can come to Christ as times get worse. People are going to listen to the Lord's word and they're going to want to come to the church to learn more and to get right with Jesus because everybody knows what's coming. Look, October and November are critical months for the safety of churches and the safety of the United States. If if we get through October and November without a war, a terrorist attack, uh, election improprieties, I will be floored if nothing happens. Okay, All the indicators are showing that something bad is going to occur. And I think it's important for you to keep track of that. One way to keep track of that is by following me at ChristianWarriorTraining.com. I will continuously do videos like this to give you a heads up, let you know what I'm thinking, so that way we can know what's going on. Also, if you're a police officer and you're getting that intelligence and you're upset because your leadership is keeping it to themselves and not alerting other people, I am a safe place to disseminate that information. Internal affairs regularly from other departments contact me, ask me where I got something. I love nothing more than telling them to go pound salt. They, there's nothing they can do. And if you're FBI or some other group that wants to find out how I get this information and you're gonna come do a knock and talk, just make sure you have your stuff together because I teach knock and talks and criminal investigations to the FBI and uh, local law enforcement. And just make sure you do it right because you're going to make a great YouTube video if you screw it up. All right. So there are just a few more things. Remember, keep your church open. You're just going to have to work harder as a safety team to make sure bad people don't come in. 
Okay. We don't want to turn people away. Remember, Jesus took the dregs of society in to help them out. That includes gang members, drug users, all these people we're talking about. We want them to come in. You just have to work harder as a security team to keep your church safe. That's okay. That's what we do. You can also pray incessantly for the safety of yourself, your church, your church members, your family, that they remain safe from the dangers that are out there, that are lurking, that are looking for a weak spot to come hurt you. You can also remember your ABCs and always be caring. 